Hi, I'm Sandata Yet Villarreal Jr. Welcome to the Video Assisted Instruction Series of IP Social and Professional Issues. This is our Lecture 1 from Week 1. So let's proceed to our description. This course introduces the students to the social and professional issues surrounding the development and use of information communication technologies ICTs in the 21st century. This course also examines the pervading presence of IT in various professions and its impact in the lives and social culture of people whether in medicine, business, entertainment, and education. The course covers also the topics on the global digital environment the emerging and converging information communication technologies, ICT enabled industries, internet censorship, and freedom of expression, sex and technology, technology and privacy, information warfare, e-health or electronic health, online crimes, e-lifestyle or electronic lifestyle, and e-learning electronic learning and distance education. So, we have here, uh, on the course objective, we have three, namely, A, cognitive aims, B, psychomotor aims, and C, value aims, as our object. Proceed to the cognitive aim. First is that students learn the current issues surrounding the development and use of ICT. Second, identify emerging and converging technologies including trends in hardware and software. So this is the new technology. And third, learn the risks involved in using ICTs as well as the protection and security measures to avoid becoming a victim of cyber crimes. So when we state cognitive, we are using our mind, okay, or intelligence. Next, we have the psychomotor aim. So in this objective, we have first evaluate the positive and negative side of a critical IT-related issue. Number two, discuss the important role of ICTs in the improvement of the modern society as well as its effect. In involving the culture of things. Now, psychomotor aims identify the use of uh, skills with the use of their own mind. Next, we have the value aim. So, we have three. First, develop cooperation in group research activities and presentation. Number two, accept with an open mind and heart the good and evil in ICTs societal impact. Number three, imbue the value of integrity and moral responsibility as a future ICT professional. That's it. Now let's proceed to the next uh, slide we have. Okay, right here we have the course content and this is our uh, topic uh, needed to be finished on this semester. So on the course outline we have, first we have the global digital environment. It talks about globalization, number two, the digital divide, number three, information system trends. Um, next uh, topic is emerging and converging information communication technologies. And this is segregated by first, emerging software technologies, second, miniaturized and multifunctional machines, and last, we have the rise of robots. Third, we have the ICT-enabled industry. And under this, we have three, business process outsourcing, mobile-based service industry, e-services, or e-government. And after that, there is a what you call review from topic 1 to topic 3 and all of its subtopics. So we're going to have a review of the discussion. Then after the review, we can have our quiz number one. Again, your quiz must be posted in our Microsoft Teams. Uh, encoded, then you can wait for the announcement. 
of the schedule. Number four topic we have is the internet censorship and freedom of expression. Under this, we have website content filtration, censorship versus regulation. On the, our fifth topic, curriculum, in our syllabus is sex and technology and under this we have four child pornography virtual prostitution cyber sex online relationship next slide we have the review from uh, topic number four to topic number five and its subtopic uh, we need to review it uh, because we're going to have our quiz number two and again for those topics that are not been discussed it is not included on the quiz now number six topic we have here technology and privacy under this we have identity theft impersonation monitoring versus intrusion to privacy then we're going to have a review and preparation for the midterm examination the midterm examination uh, must be posted on the online platform we have okay it's scheduled just wait for it just in case um, the topics are not been discussed then it is not included on the midterm examination any topics that are not been discussed through online or video are not included on the exam so on our final period our first topic is information warfare so under this we have cyber espionage and intelligence gathering number eight topic we have e-health or electronic health so we have here uh, telemedicine and virtual therapy and after those two topics we discuss and it's subtopic we're going to have our review of the discussion it is the same as before so we're going to have quiz number three next is topic number nine online crimes so we have hacking spamming technology-based terrorism online fraud and number 10 topic we have e-lifestyle or electronic lifestyle so we have here sms addiction online and network based gaming online shopping blogging social networks and personal web home base and mobile of then after the two topics we have 9 and 10 we're going to have again a review of the discussion and then we're going to proceed to quiz number four and uh, the last topic we have number 11 is e-learning and distance education under this we have computer-based training and online education for distance learning then we're going to review and prepare for final examination then the final examination must be uh, brought out by its exact time and date in it will be posted on our uh, team's account course requirements to pass the said uh, subject individual group research assignments and exercises case study, research presentations, write-up, and quizzes. Evaluation technique that uh, is needed to use. Written examination, assignments and exercises, attendance and deliverables during consultations, recitation, reporting, seminars, educational trip. But uh, educational trip, I discard this because um, we can educate without uh, a trip. As long as it is on the technology we are using, we can uh, look on for that rather than going on to that um, town or city or even mountain. 
uh, due to pandemic. Course grading system, midterm, class standing 70%, online reports and quizzes, case study assignments, and uh, exercises. Uh, major examination, 30%. In our final, it is the same, class standing 70%. Uh, online report, research, project, and quizzes. Case study, assignment, exercises. Major examination, 30%. When we talk about class standing, this is a, what you call online class. Okay? Online class standing. Then, we're going to have our final grade. Computation equals to midterm added by final divided by... Uh, two. Suggested teaching methodologies and strategies. Number one, online illustrated presentation, online board presentation, videos, online demonstration, reports, five minutes per student, and online seminar workshop. Okay? So, by the way, right here, there's a what you call the reporting. Since it is online, we can also do the reporting because there is no difference at all. The only it is uh, we're having a face-to-face -face, uh, report, but right now we're having an online report. But it is still the same. The only indication in hardship is how you're going to record your report, then how you're going to pause it, so that uh, everyone can uh, view your video. Okay, so that's it. Now, congratulations, you successfully finished our lecture number one. Thank you and good luck.